things in these like even time frames. Um, yeah, and speaking of which, um, Song. 100%ing. Uh, hey, Song, there's something I needed to tell you. It's very important. What? <laughs> she told me to do that. <laughs> you told me to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, this this is the part of the stream where I tell you about my vacation and I show you my vacation pics. Um, except before I do that, uh, I'm going to tell you what happened today. So when I woke up this morning, this is what I woke up to. My entire street and half my yard was flooded with water. Uh, there was some water coming into the basement, but that was not much of a problem. Oh, and Song's not even listening. <laughs> no, I'm not in Florida. This is Illinois, as you know. I live on the worst street in town where we always frickin' flood. And by the way... <laughs> Um, all of the, like, the garbage and recycling bins, um, they had picked up, they had picked them up both up on the other side of the street, and they had picked up our garbage, but they had not picked up our recycling, so six people's bins were thrown all over this water, and there was recycling spilled out everywhere. I put on old clothes and water shoes that Song bought me. I went out into that and I picked up an entire recycling bin full of wet cardboard. And I put the recycling bin back. And I, I put everyone's bins turned upright and picked up all the freaking garbage that was floating around recycling. And then I took the picture. I have not seen flooding this bad on my street in 20 years. Like, our street, we get floods here, but this is the worst I had seen it in 20 years. Um, and then, then, um, I had to go to the dentist at 3.30 in the afternoon. And I, I was late to begin with because, this, by the way, this, this water finally all went away. I was worried about driving over this water. It went away by, by 3 o'clock. I was supposed to leave at 3 o'clock. I was late. But then the road that I was taking to get to the dentist was flooded and blocked off with police cars. So I had to turn around, backtrack, and take an alternate route. And I called my dentist and uh, well, ahead and said I would be 20 minutes late. So I got to the dentist 20 minutes late. They said it was fine because the patient afterwards canceled. But even after I got there 20 minutes late, like I said, and they knew I was there, the dentist made me wait 50 minutes after I was already 20 minutes late before she even saw me. I have no idea why. It was, it, it pissed me off, obviously. So then, the dentist works on my teeth, which takes an hour because I don't brush my teeth or frost, floss properly. She's ripping my gums out for an hour. It didn't hurt that much. It, it was fine. It was not a bad teeth cleaning. It didn't hurt that much. But again, she started an hour and 10 minutes late from the original appointment. Then the appointment took an hour. Then I'm driving home and I'm like, you know what? I've had a lot of bullshit today. I'm going to reward myself by going to McDonald's and getting McNuggies because, spoilers, uh, during my vacation, I went to McDonald's in Wisconsin and I got 20 hot mustard sauces. So, <laughs> so when I was in Wisconsin, I got 20 hot mustard sauces. I'm like, yes, McNuggies with hot mustard. After all this bullshit, I haven't had hot mustard sauce in over a year. So I get home, finally, extremely late, 
get my McNuggies, turn on my TV, open up the bag with the hot mustard sauce that I got in Wisconsin, and guess what? Guess what happened? I look in there. I had I ordered 20 hot mustard sauces. They gave me 20 honey mustard sauces. Now, for those of you who know me, I am addicted to hot mustard. Not honey mustard, hot mustard. At that point, all I could do was laugh and give the middle finger to the universe because there was nothing else to do. They used to, Clax. And they, they used to have it up in other places besides where I live. Oh my god, you guys. All right, so yeah, I there was after all that bullshit of you know, going out in the water. No, she hadn't. <laughs> yeah, after all that shit and I don't even get my hot mustard sauce. And it, as as long as I'm talking about it, let me tell you the story because I don't know why I didn't do it last year. But two years ago, I went to the, um, I went to the McDonald's. This is in Shawano, Wisconsin. I went to the McDonald's and I said, I want twenty. I, they don't have hot mustard where I live. I want to buy twenty hot mustards, and they they were they were very accommodating. They gave me they sold me the hot mustards, and they they even suggested that I call like the corporate hotline and complain. Blah blah blah. So they have given me hot mustard at that McDonald's before, but this time, of course, every time I've asked for this. The person at the cash register doesn't know what to do, is completely at a loss, has to call the manager over, and I have to explain to them that I want to buy 20 hot mustard things, which they think is insane, which of course it is because I'm insane. So again, this, this me and Ratmus went into this next Donald's. These two teenage girls working the register are totally confused. They call the manager over. The manager at first is like, no, she doesn't understand what I want to do. And I'm like, let me be very clear about this. I want to... I want 20 hot mustard sauces, and I will pay you for them. Give them to me. I have done this before. And they finally did it, but I didn't look in the fucking bag because it never occurred to me that they would give me the wrong sauce. I said hot mustard. Anyways, let's move on to the... We got a lot of pictures to go here, and I don't want this to take forever, except it already did take forever. Um, <laughs> so, my vacation... Um, I figured I'd at least show a sign. This is the Cecil Fireside Inn uh, back there. Way in the background you can see the Dairy Cove, which has the awesome flurries. Um, this is a picture of Ratmus' dog, Sadie. Now, this is in the True Value hardware store. The previous year, I noticed a sign on the front of their door that says, Well-behaved pets on a leash are welcome in this true value store. So I joked for like a year that Sadie wouldn't be allowed in because she's not well behaved. But apparently she, they took her in and she actually was well behaved in the store. So I was surprised. Was there a dark night? Um, okay, so this next picture is in the Sundrop Museum. But, okay, I, I didn't, for some reason I didn't pick any other pictures from the Sundrop Museum. But in the Sundrop Museum, they have pillars that you can sign your names on. This, I'm going to show you some pictures from the men's bathroom. And, I, ooh, I'm sorry, controversial, evil, pictures from a men's bathroom. There's a women's room and a men's room, and they're both single-person restrooms, okay? So I go into the men's Okay, I go into the men's room and the, I see this pillar and I was like, people wrote on the pillar in the men's room? That's kind of tacky. And then I took some more pictures because it just got more and more crazy from here. The This air conditioning unit is just inside the bathroom. Actually, there, there wasn't even a urinal, now that I think about it. There was an air conditioning unit. I guess you can pee on that. And then there was a gigantic box of toilet paper, which I was like, this is crazy. I, I would never see anyone put this much toilet paper in a public bathroom because I would think people would just steal it. And then I looked closer at the people who were signing this pillar, and a lot of them were girls' names, including couples' names in hearts. 
So guys are bringing their girls into the men's bathroom to sign the pillar. And, as I said, it's a one-person bathroom. So why do they need four coat hangers? This is getting weirder and weirder by the minute. Um, so this is the pick and save grocery store, which sadly went out of business um, because Walmart is putting everything out of business. The Kmart went out of business a couple years ago. Now this wonderful, awesome grocery store went out of business, and that sucks. Um, here's Sadie swimming in the lake. Okay, so this is the inside of the Washington Inn Supper Club. <laughs> that, that's the door to the bathroom. Um, so some of you, very few of you, <laughs> Doom, that's not how winter works. I hate to break it to you. I know you don't know how winter works because you've never had winter. But there was a stream I, uh, a couple weeks ago. I know a lot of people weren't here. It was a Rockman and Ratman stream. I think it was Tron Bond. I had this book on Wisconsin supper clubs, and I was reading about... I was reading about supper clubs that I've been to, and I was reading about this supper club, the Washington Inn Supper Club, and it said it was haunted. And I was like, I've been coming to this place since I was a kid. I've never seen a ghost in this place. Um, but I took a picture here. I sh um, you might, this might be a little spooky, so I, I don't want, mean to scare anyone, but can anyone see a ghost or ghosts in, in this picture here? L let me, uh, hmm. Look very closely now. Has something changed in the picture? Did, does anyone see a ghost or, or something in this picture? I, I should have put on spooky music for this. Um, I don't know. What, what about this? What if I do this? I don't know. Has it gotten any spookier right now, guys? Can, can you uh, see anything spooky going on here? Nobody's saying anything. Um, I don't know. What, what about this? What about this? Now, do you guys see some sort of uh, ghostly figure? The cardboard thing? Can, can anyone figure out what, what ghostly figure we might be seeing here? Um, it, it looks to me like... Um, <laughs> it looks to me like maybe a musician with a beard who lives in Southern Illinois and um, likes Metal Gear Solid and uh, maybe Friday the 13th. I don't know. I, I, maybe it's an unidentified ghostly figure. I don't know. All right, let's, let's move on. That was maybe too scary for you guys. All right, this is the pool that I've been going to since I was a baby. I love this place. Um, there was a whale on the wall for some reason. This is the pool table area. Okay, so we, we happened to cross this on the last day as we were leaving town. It's Herbie the Love Bug, everybody. Special thanks to Song for blurring out people's license plates. There's a shot of it from the front. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think it was a little too spooky for them, Song. Um, so this was a food truck that's brand new that my dad heard about uh, online. And um, they they claim that they have Chicago style hot dogs up in Wisconsin. So before we left town, we, we had to buy one to try it, and it was really good. Yeah, and also he does not live in Illinois. Okay, so, spoilers clacks, it was DK. <coughs> now we're on to the food pictures. So there's going to be a lot of food pictures in here. So if you get hungry, it's not my fault. No apologies whatsoever. God damn it, there's a fucking emote there. <laughs> so, um, 
we drive up to Wisconsin very early in the morning and we always stop at White Castle for a snack. And mom, my mom wanted to try some new veggie sliders, which they had for some reason. And then I saw that they had a hot Nashville slider. And when I was, when I was uh, visiting Song in Virginia, she took me to O Charlie's and they had a hot Nashville chicken sandwich that I had. And that was awesome. So this, this is a hot Nashville chicken slider and that has fried pickles on it. It was really hot and really awesome. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, so the food schedule for when we're in Wisconsin. Um, about 10, somewhere between 10 to 11 a.m., we have what I'm going to call lunch. But you can either have breakfast food or lunch food, whatever you want. Sometimes I had breakfast, sometimes I had lunch. Yeah, Doom. Um, then we had dinner at 5 p.m., and then every night at 8.45 p.m., we went across the street to the Dairy Cove to get a flurry. That's because they close at 9. Um, so this, this is actually a picture, three pictures put together from last year. Um, these are all Oreo flurries, but on the left is vanilla, in the middle is chocolate, and on the right is strawberry. First night, I got chocolate. Second two nights, I got set, uh, strawberry. And then the last night, I got vanilla. So Oreo flurries every night. Um, so now, first day, lunch, uh, corned beef hash omelet and a blueberry muffin. I love corned beef hash. And I, this omelet, I wait a year to get this omelet. It is so amazing. That is melted Swiss cheese on there. This, you guys have, might have... Now, I know it's, some of you like Doom or Song have probably been seeing this for years. And, you know, you might be some repeats in here. Yeah, it got kind of messy, um, but I know there's some people who might have missed them or new people who haven't seen this before. So, um, so dinner at the yeah also at a lot of the restaurants you can get Sundrop in a bottle at a lot of the rest not all of them sadly but a lot of the restaurants around there have Sundrop in a bottle. So this is at a place called the Antlers Supper Club. They give you uh, pickles and whatever at the beginning. And they give you, this is, uh, this is like a special, um, it's an extremely salty garlic bread with like bacon cheese spread. It's their signature thing, which has been going around for a while. It's extremely unhealthy and very delicious. Um, so this is my entree, which is chicken schnitzel. Um, it's it's a lot thicker than schnitzel should be at this place. Those are American fries, um, but it, you know it's it's beautiful, delicious chicken and mushroom sauce. <laughs> um, okay, so next day, again for lunch. Um, this place called the Farm and Inn has like everything is homemade, They're, but their their soups are particularly good. So I try to ask them every day what soup they have and try to get it. This is some sort of chicken and rice soup. You know, this this is all like farm fresh shit right here. This is amazing. <laughs> yes, I did warn you. Um, and so, a lot of times they ha well actually this wasn't a special. This is something I saw on the menu, but I had never tried before. <laughs> this is, um, what is this? This is a fried chicken melt. So it's a, a piece of, it's a basically a, a fried chicken, boneless fried chicken breast on a sandwich um, with melted cheese and bacon. And of course it was fucking amazing. <laughs> And this is what Ratmus ordered. These are what you call pancakes up in, but this is like, these are Wisconsin pancakes. This is how, I guess, a real man eats pancakes. They're called tractor tire pancakes. I, I don't even think Ratmus even ate half of this. Um, okay, so the next dinner, again, I decided to try something different. No, no. Um, that was that was a place called Farman on Main. <laughs> Fifty-five percent. Um, so, so this is when we went to the Washington, and 
I decided to try something that I hadn't had before, which was a stuffed tenderloin. And by tenderloin, I mean steak tenderloin. So this was a, a steak stuffed with cheese and bacon. The, Ratmus, this was Ratmus's, and he had potato salad with it. And uh, Doom, avert your eyes, this is French onion soup, Ratmus's. And then this is mine, which is the same, but with American fries. The picture didn't come out so well. But unfortunately, I, I guess stuffed steak isn't as good as I thought it was. I was kind of, uh, it wasn't that great. Um, so this is the next day at Farman on Main for lunch. Um, this Doom, this is the soup that I said you would like. It was chicken salsa soup. It was slightly spicy. Really good. <laughs> I don't think, actually, I don't think Ratmus even ate all of the French onion soup, actually. Um, so then I decided, because I, I knew I was going to have steak and shrimp for dinner, and since I didn't have steak and shrimp the previous night, and I get to the farm in for lunch, and wouldn't you know it, one of their specials is steak and shrimp for lunch, and you could get the shrimp either fried or grilled. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to be different. I'm going to have steak and shrimp, but I'm going to have grilled shrimp. The steak was okay. The grilled shrimp was very nice. It was something different for breakfast. Um, which leads me to my dinner the same day. Now this is at a, a supper club called the Cotton Patch, which is literally one of my, like, probably my favorite restaurant on earth. This food is so delicious, I can't even explain how delicious it is. Now, again, I had steak and fried shrimp and um, parts of people's hands, probably. In the upper left is a twice-baked potato. In the upper right is mushrooms. And yeah, I know Doom and Song and some other people are going to be like, oh, you cooked the steak too long or whatever. Just, just imagine that this is the most delicious fucking food in the world, and I have to wait a year to get this food again, and it's totally worth it. Yes. Yes, I did. And I make no apologies for that. Okay, so the next day, uh, we had lunch at a different place called Angie's Cafe. They also have extremely great homemade soups. This is chicken and dumpling soup, and it's amazing. Um, and then I had, again, I had corned beef hash and scrambled eggs, and that is homemade toast with jelly. So they make their own bread. <laughs> Um, okay, and then for dinner, this is the family style, all you can eat uh, at the Washington Inn. On the left is roasted chicken. On the lower right is beef tenderloin tips. In the middle is corn, mashed potatoes, and stuffing and gravy. I know. It, it, I mean, obviously, it was a special occasion, Doom, and the shrimp was grilled versus fried. That's why I did it, really. Um, so the next day, this is some sort of vegetable soup at the farm in. There's onions in there. I got to go past it. And then I decided to get the, again, I got this last year. This is a mushroom Swiss burger. Um, but I again, I swear, like, this is quite possibly the best burger I've ever had in my life because it is so farm fresh, it is ridiculous. I think we're getting to the, we're almost to the end of the food guys, so hold on. So then another tradition I have is after I get home from, we stop at a, we, on the way home we stop at a butcher shop called Maplewood Meats, and we stop at a cheese place called Laney Cheese. And I, I love to get ham, sliced ham sandwich meat, and a lot of cheese. That's, actu that's actually provolone cheese and ham. And I always make myself a sandwich, like for the lunch the next day after I get home. But this time I decided I took the ham and the cheese and put it on a separate plate and I microwaved it for a little bit so that it got a little bit hot and the cheese started to melt. Obviously it was really good. Yeah, because it's a little bit melted. 
this <laughs> hey Luna um, I, I don't know how much of you guys like Swiss cheese because I know Swiss cheese is kind of an acquired taste I didn't like it when I was a kid I like it as an adult I think Twi Swiss cheese is the kind of cheese that I put on burgers like I you know I, I would normally like eat cheddar just by itself normally I wouldn't eat Swiss cheese but by my by itself but the Swiss cheese that I get up there from Laney cheese in Wisconsin it is so good that I can just eat Swiss cheese just by itself with nothing else. It is so good. Okay, so the food is done. <laughs> so you guys can stop being mad at me. Now we're into the stuff that I bought section. And uh, Doom, Doom, I've got good news and bad news coming up for you. <laughs> yeah, see, like, the, the, that's how I normally feel, Derringer, but when you get Swiss that's this good, and you don't get Swiss that's this good that often. Um, so yeah, in, in the lower right, as Doom pointed out, I got some Sailor Moon Perler magnets. Um, got a Zero Suit Samus Amiibo, and th these are from there um, in the area up there. There's a used vi there's a used video game store that also has DVDs and other things, and it's called Mojo's. And there's now there's now four different locations, and I've been to three of them, and they're also expanding from what they tell me. Um, but you see the the pop figure in the lower left, that Green Lantern, that says Walgreens exclusive. I got that at Walgreens, and in the upper right, with Rip Carrie Fisher, uh, I got that Star Wars figure also at Walgreens. But the Gohan and the Krillin, the Zero Suit Samus, and the Perlers, those all came from Mojo's. Damn it, Ratmus. All right, now Doom. This is these. This picture is specifically for you, and let's just say I've I've got some good news and some bad news for you, Doom, and it's all mixed together. Um, so let let's, as you can see, only the top of this picture is visible, and I'm slowly going to reveal more and more of this picture. Um, at the top, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but that is a Sleeping Beauty Castle pin. Um, they had Disney pins that Ratmus decided to buy one for you, Doom. So you can thank Ratmus, Doom. You're getting a, a Disney pin. And uh, in the upper right, yes. It, stop, stop with the emotes. Um, you can Nyan, try to clear your chat, like Doom did. So Doom, Ratmus got you that pin. I got you that GameCube memory card, which I'm going to use to unlock the Sonic things and then send it to you. So are, are, you, are you happy about this pin? Before we move on, Doom, are you at least happy about the pin that Ratmus got you? <laughs> I wonder how well can you see that on stream actually I, I hope you can see it yeah yeah it's the castle I think it says yeah the picture is kind of small unfortunately it says Sleeping Beauty Castle on the bottom and I think it says 1955 on the top um, but yeah okay alright so so that's great so what's next this, this is not for you, Doom. I know you don't have a Genesis. I got myself a copy of Rocket Knight Adventures for Genesis. So that's, I don't know if that's good news or bad news, because that means I'm going to stream the game, but I, I, might, I might do horribly and swear and butcher it. So is that kind of a good news, bad news situation? And now, now for the ultimate reveal, and uh, I think a lot of you are going to get upset when you see the next part of this. Um, I bought a really horrible game. 
and I bought a really horrible game on purpose so that I can destroy this really horrible game like we did the kids on site. Um, but there's a catch. Let me reveal the next part. I bought Metroid Other M. But here, here's the thing. Uh, me and Ratmus are going to do a destruction video where we destroy Metroid Other M, and we'll, we'll, we we can't be we can't do it as well as Race Gene did to Super Mario 3D World, but we'll uh, I promise we'll try to do something better. We'll try to make it better than than uh, Kids on Site or the Yumbo. Yeah, it's it's just a it's a generic black case with like a Xerox copy of the sleeve. It's it's I got it from a used game store. That's why. It's it's not a real case. It's a it's a used game case. But I assure you, the game is in there. <laughs> but but here's the thing, we're not going to like I'm. <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to like I don't want to call uh, I want to I want to explain myself properly and I probably have already fucked up like like <laughs> all right I should have thought out what I was going to say better than this. Basically, Doom, I, I know you made the decision to stop streaming, and I'm, I'm totally fine with that. You know, it's your decision. I'm not trying to get you to stream again or anything like that. It's completely your decision. Um, but I just want to say that we're not going to release the video of Metroid Other M Destruction until such time as you decide yourself to return to streaming full time so as you'll have let's let's say you'll have something to look forward to if and when you decide to start regular streams again until then you don't have to see it anymore i'm not i'm not going to play the game i'm not going to stream metroid other m it's just going to sit in a crappy box and wait for a day sometime in the future and so here's the games that I bought myself. Or, well, me and Ratmus bought for ourselves, I should say. Um, because Ratmus bought Agassi Tennis for some reason. Uh, I decided to buy Resident Evil 4 for PS2 because it's the only home console that I don't own it for. Burnout 2 is the only Burnout game I didn't own. Ratmus decided to get VR Troopers because he thinks it's funny. Um, I got two crappy PS2 games, or PS1 games, excuse me. That's 007 Racing and Patriotic Pinball. Yeah, I was, you know, looking at crappy PS1 games, and I'm like, eh, maybe this would be fun to stream sometime. Uh, that's the same copy of Rocket Knight Adventures. I don't have two. Apparently, I did not own any Street Fighter II for Super Nintendo, so I just I saw that one, so I picked it up. I got myself another PS2 memory card and two Atari games. So that's it. I hope uh, I probably talked for way too goddamn long. It was probably another 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I bought some games. I bought some games. I ate a lot of food. Um, my vacation was mostly fun. I had some health problems, uh, as usual. Um, today mostly sucked, but... You guys get the idea. A, a lot of fun stuff happened. So, so yeah, and, and I did get some presents. I um, Ratmus also bought something for Amanda as a wedding gift, I guess, and I got some things for Song that I told her are going to be surprises. So, um, oh, and there's one more thing actually. Um, actually, I'm doing some giveaways this summer, and. As you guys may know, um, some of you have already signed up for these giveaways, but I wasn't planning on getting a game to do a giveaway, but I, I bought Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition as a giveaway. 
So if anyone wants to sign up to receive Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, it's not in this picture. Obviously the picture is the PS2, but I got a Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. It's going to be a giveaway. If anyone wants to uh, sign up for that. Hey, Steffi. Sorry, there's no pictures of me. Uh, if you want to see pictures of me, we'll have to do a private stream on Skype sometime. Um, I will probably... I. I I will probably go back and highlight all this nonsense um, for 